everyone. Today's video is going to be a short cleaning video. I have one sterling silver chain from Italy that I found in just a very, very small little jar a few weeks back. I'm going to get this cleaned up. And this one that I found the other day, it's actually in my last video, it's got all this verdigris stuff on it. And I'm going to try my technique with the salt and the baking soda. I'm going to see if I can't get some of that off of there. I need to be kind of careful with the heat of the water because uh, it's plastic. But as always, your tin foil, shiny side up. I'm going to put in the salt. I'm going to put in some baking soda. Give this a mix around. The water is heating up right now. Let me go check it. Be right back. So I already know this technique works really, really well with silver. This will clean that up really quick. This, on the other hand, I don't know. But let's throw it in and let's see what happens when we pour some water on this. Now, we're going to let this sit a few moments and I'll be back and let's see the results. So I'm going to let this swish around in there a little bit. The silver chain is already really beautiful and shiny now. See that? On silver, it doesn't take long at all. Just a couple of minutes. This, however, this water is a little warm. I'm going to see. I'm going to let it soak and then try and brush it with this uh, toothbrush and see if I can't get some of that to come off. Well, unfortunately, here's the story. The part that hasn't lost the plating has cleaned up beautifully, right? The part, but the parts where this plating has come off doesn't seem to be doing much good. So it might have just literally, the plating has just come off or something. I may not be able to save it, but it was worth a shot. It's still a pretty necklace and maybe there's still something I can do with this part. We'll see, maybe I'll let it soak a little longer and see, but for now, it cleaned up the part that still had the plating really nice. It's just this. And it looks like it's cleaned up, but there's just nothing underneath it. I don't think there's any plating underneath there anymore. So there's our experiment. Better luck next time. Have a great day, everybody. Okay. Hey, I'm very excited. I spoke too soon. I let it sit in that solution and I grabbed a scour pad and look, it's coming off. So I may not be able to get all of it, but look, it is coming off. Look at that side. And look at all that. It's literally starting to come off. I might have just saved this necklace. Now here's some trouble area. Look at that, it's coming off. 
the worst part of it is starting to come off. So I'm going to let this soak some more and go after it with this Brillo pad a little more. Look, it's going away. I'm going to be able to save this necklace. Okay, I'll be back with an update once I get this cleaned up. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to be able to save it or at least clean it up a lot to where it's going to look a lot better. All right, I'll be back with another update. Okay, so here is the final results on that necklace. I managed to get pretty much every bit of that verdigris off of that chain with the solution of salt and baking soda. And when I use the scour pad and look at it, it all came off. So another necklace saved. There it is. Once again, have a great day.